and the twins are fighting for their survival. Situation levels falling. We have to act. Both pulses slowing. We've accepted a donation from a child abuser. I had no idea about that until now. I know what I've done. I was wrong. But if you want to stop this operation, then you go in there yourselves and pull the plug. Sew them back together and give them back to their parents. Somebody's been asking after you. Who? Obviously, he can't stay away. So what are you waiting for? Abra to whisk you off into the Holby Sunset. I'm not interested in Abra, right? I've booked the room for another night. I thought you'd like to know. I can't wait to get back into that bed. Let's finish what we started. Good bleed. Clear. It's all in stick. That is all I have to say. She spoke to her mum on the phone. She didn't want to know. Any news? No, they're still in theatre. Oh, hi, Sam. No, no, it's still going on. Each twin has a bile duct. All right, we need to sloop around the bile duct, the hepatic artery, and the portal vein. There's a bleed. No. Clamp? No, no, let it bleed. We need to let it bleed so that we can find out exactly where it's coming from. You sure. Then you can underrun the vessel instead of clamping. So if we clamp, you're saying we'll render some of the bile ischemic? Exactly. Got it. Round body needle. We should be back in a few moments, ladies and gentlemen. I can't imagine what you were thinking. I was thinking it was time someone told the truth. That we refused to fund an operation and then accepted a donation from a source that quite frankly makes Ted Bundy look reputable. If you want to be crude about it, yes. This is going to stir up a hornet's nest. Oh, I think we can safely say that's already been stirred. There's nothing more I can do. I'm sorry. The fact of the matter is that they are illegal immigrants that shouldn't even be in this country. Now we're getting to Never the bottom of it. Receiving expensive medical treatment from this trust. This may come as a shock to you, but neither myself nor my staff care whether they're illegal immigrants. You play politics all you like. I prefer to let my staff do their job. There's an EGM of the board in the morning. Well, they want me to present my case? No. No, we're way past that. They're going to ask for your resignation, Jane. I'd like to say I could persuade them otherwise, but I won't be able to. And I don't really want to. At least I can leave with my head held high. Can you say the same? Mate, do you fancy gate crusher? Oh, I'm really tired. I think I know must feel. They've been going for over 12 hours. <laughs> Thank you. Jesus. To be honest, I thought you'd be up for some sort of vodka top. I was watching Faye earlier, and... She was something else, you know. You're really not letting this scrub nurse thing go, are you? I, I just want to come out of that theatre and have someone's husband come someone's up to me. Someone's good-looking husband, of course. And I'd say, it was touch and go, you know? But we pulled her through. Because when Dr Hunt said scalpel, I gave him one. Do you see where this is going? Complicated though it is, yeah. Oh, you uh, saw sense in the end then? No, I just decided to humour you both. Got a bit tired of you wittering on. Hmm. That's no way to approach a date. I can assure you it's no date, all right? It's just coffee. Night. All right. Are you sure this is okay? You should be getting home then. No, no, I said I'd have a coffee with you. And you're a girl of your word. Well, I tried to be, yeah. So when I'm all patched up, where would you like me to take it? Seeing as 
By the sounds of it, bars are out of the question. No, I go to bars. I just don't drink alcohol. Do you mind if I ask why? And don't feel that uh, no, you have to answer. No, I don't mind. Um, one day, one day something happened. A year at the hospital, and before I knew it, my life was being run by drink. Booze was the most important thing. More important than my son, even. Your son, so... Uh, his dad's dead. Mm, I'm sorry. Uh, I told you, he's 14, Max. Mm, yeah. And despite what I was saying, he's a great kid. Well, if he's got you for a mum, then he has to be. Uh, well, thinking about what it would do to him is, is what brought it home, really. Mm. Kids can have that effect sometimes, can't they? I didn't ask if you got any. Yeah, yeah, I've got two. A boy and a girl from a previous marriage. Serena's 14 like your boy, and Jason's 13. We should get them together sometime. I'm sure they get along. <laughs> yeah. So, was Max aware of your... My drinking? Mm. Eventually. He still brings it up. When he wants to get at you? Exactly. Can't be easy. Oh, but I'm glad he knows. I mean, it's no more deception. Look, I, I go to AA meetings at least twice a week, so... I'm an alcoholic, and I always will be. Nobody's perfect. I'm gonna go and get some fresh air. Okay, I'll page you if I need you. Elliot, um, something's come up. You're not leaving, are you? I've just ordered pizzas. Well, I just have to, um... You know what? Keep me updated, right? Are you, uh, are you okay? Yeah, fine. Just, uh, promise you'll keep me informed. Yeah, promise. Right, it won't be long. Okay. Well, I'm just gonna stay for five minutes, yeah? And then I'm gonna leave. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm staying for. Are you okay? Okay, yeah, she's breathing. She's got a pulse. Donna? What? She's not wearing any clothes. She's naked. It's all right. You're okay. You just fainted. I'm going to go get help. Okay. What's your name? Venice. Okay, Venice. You just try and stay still, yeah? You're not an angel. No. So I'm not dead? No. You're not dead. Excuse me. Sorry, Doctor. Uh, yeah. A young girl's collapsed. Okay. Where? Uh, it's just this way. So what are you doing here, Venice? I've fallen down the stairs. No. What brought you here in the first place? You know, with a, just a coat on. I've got a doctor. So, uh, so what happened? Um, we think she fainted. She just fell down the stairs. All right. Don't move. Let me have a look at you. Oh, gee, uh, She's not wearing any clothes on. Well, I just thought you might want to know, you know. Yes, thank you. <laughs> Do you know Terminos? Restaurant? Yeah. Um, I know it, yeah. I've never been. A bit up my price range. Well, I'd love to take you there. We're not supposed to date patients. But when I get out of here, I won't be a patient. Well, it still wouldn't be a good idea. Why not? Do you want a reference? <laughs> a reference? Yeah, a dating reference. I'm sure I can drum up a few old girlfriends and then they can tell you what they think of me. Well, my dad did tell me to always check out someone you can have more than coffee with. He said you can't spot Norman Bates over coffee. <laughs> Norman Bates? He's a guy from Psycho. <laughs> so, if I pass the Norman Bates test, I'm in. Oh, we never made it up to Darwin. What's the latest? Um, I don't know. I don't know. Um, you probably know we've got a conjoined twins operation going on here today. Mm, couldn't have missed it. it. Makes my appendix seem a bit tame. Do you think I should rev it up a bit? <laughs> what do you mean? Tell everyone I'm the first pregnant man. <laughs> well, it'd be different, yeah. Would it make you want to go out with me? No. All right, then. Stick with the appendix. Okay, what's the problem? Problem? Okay, I got a message. 
Oh, the problem is that I was here by myself and it seems such a waste. Oh, for God's sake, John! It was a problem to me. I was working! You should be grateful.